Hey, so I'm just going to quickly show you how this Ripple filter device works. So, um, it you'll see there's a water ripple, ripple simulation here in the middle. And uh, this is an audio effect that can be an FFT filter or an oscillator bank. And it's kind of controlled essentially by this uh, simulation. So how that happens is you have these things called listeners and you have two of them so here's one and I'll turn on the other so you have two listeners and they basically listen to the simulation uh, so they're like a slice or segment of it that's represented by the line and basically they'll listen to whatever water ripples touch that line and apply that to the filter or to the oscillator bank depending on what mode you have on. So let's just hear that. So I'll send in an internal noise oscillator to the filters. Let me turn off one and move it up. So now we can't hear anything because there's no water ripples really touching this line. And as I move into the ripple, we'll begin to hear the sound. And right now it's a FFT filter. Um, so basically the noise oscillator is going through the FFT filter and the water ripples are adding amplitude values um, or controlling the amplitude values of the frequency bins in the filter. So here would be the low frequencies and here are the high frequencies. So let me crop the filter so you can hear. So hopefully you can get an idea and I'll add some ripples so you can hear the high frequencies and the low frequencies. Great. So that's one way you can have the listener, uh, one mode. And another one is with the oscillator bank. So with this mode, it's just a bank of oscillators. You can control how many oscillators are in the bank for different uh, tunings and effects up to 64 CPU uh, depends how much your CPU can handle too um, so in this oscillator mode there's no noise oscillator applied to it it's just the sine waves uh, sounding great so and each listener can be uh, ha in e either mode, so you can have one as F FT filter and one as oscillator bank. You can pan them individually, you can uh, control the smoothing individually to get more d sustaining kind of effects. Okay, so uh, let's see what else we have going on here. Um, so I've been opening up this menu. This is the listener menu. Um, in the first menu, we have kind of an input output at the top. And so we see there's noise. Uh, that was the noise oscillator I sent to the FFT filter. So let's hear that again. Now, if I turn noise down, there's no sound. And that's because nothing's going into the filter. But you'll see there's input at 0 dB. So that would be any, it's an audio effect, so any input uh, coming in into the effect will be sent to the filter. Okay, so I'll play some audio. And now the audio input is instead fed to the filter. And if I add more drips. You can see kind of how that works. Okay, so that's the audio input. Um, you can also uh, act activate an envelope follower, and this will follow the input and apply the envelope to the noise oscillator, but you have to bring the noise 
oscillator volume up. So basically, now the o noise oscillator is going through the FFT filter, but its uh, dynamics are controlled by the envelope follower. And this is a decay for that follower. Right, and then you have a dry wet here. Um, so then below that we have these automatic drips. So you can touch to create ripples or you can have these automatic drips running. So here's one and you can activate the other and they kind of just drip at a certain rate that you set at a certain amplitude. So here they both are in action. And then down here, this last menu uh, affects the simulation. So you can uh, have it run fast or really slow. Um, you can have it decay really fast to get really short uh, sounds from coming from the ripple. <laughs> or you can have it decay long and yeah. And you can boost it or to lower or heighten the kind of ripples. And you can also uh, freeze. Um, this must have a lot of decay. Yeah. And then uh, you can clear the water. And uh, this controls uh, if you touch uh, how much how is uh, how much amplitude the ripple has okay and then over here um, we have the cursor mode menu so I've had it on touch which means you can touch and drag to create ripples um, with this mode you can also record uh, the ripples you could create and play them back like that and you can just keep overdubbing new loops and they all will have their own lengths each time you press a loop. So it's pretty flexible. Um, and then you can clear them here. And then there's walls. So you can create walls by clicking and uh, dragging on an empty space and you can kind of click and move them around or double click to remove one. And these are good for like uh, controlling flow of the ripples and creating all sorts of e effects like that. Um, you'll have to check the presets or just try it yourself uh, to see what you can make with that. And uh, and the last one on cursor mode is the drip position so we can change the positions here okay uh, I think that covers everything check out the manual and uh, reach out if you have issues thanks